like a certain position control thing. And as you can see, yep, throws in the bomb early, puts the little tether right now, and that little aim tether is going to keep, yeah, and that's going to keep the shots a little bit more accurate. Uh, but this is one of the weaknesses from here as he goes for the burst. Oh, if Leo can, yes, yes, Leo, as the Leo player wants to do in this matchup, especially against Happy Chaos, they want to get in early because, oh, as he goes with the defensive throw, they want to get in because they want to get the blicky and they want to blow it out. Okay, goes for the charge, goes for the super overdrive wall break, and that's going to be a hard knockdown. It's going to go for a little bit, toes, shoots him out of the air, Josh is up though. Oh, that's a reversal again. Gavin is letting these things rip. Goes for back turn. Oh, goes for the low hit, and that's going to be a little bit confirmed. Does not block the back turn and just gets oppressed in that last setting. Uh, that's kind of hard to believe because he had the knockdown off that super wall break, but he lost the momentum. And unfortunately, from round to round, Guilty Gear does not let you retain your meter. It resets at zero, so the, unfortunately, the positive bonus, he wasn't able to see much advantage over that. Uh, if he would have been able to block, he probably would have went into a YRC, but as he's going into that, he's looking a lot better in this round. Goes for the gold burst, hits it. Oh, he just countermanded him? From there, off of the run, that was good. And this is the spot that Happy Chaos does want to be. Oh, goes for the three, the four, the blicky. One more time. Uh-huh. Concentration. Hits it one more time. Aim is precise. As we're looking at. Looking like Happy Chaos spent four years in the United States Marines. He's a sniper. Okay. Hits him with the low. Ah. Dang. All right. Leo letting him know that uh, he didn't qualify due to his MEPS record. Mmm. Hits the wall break off of there. Oh, that transition was godlike. <laughs> you see that wall break? <laughs> and I don't be seeing this game for a while, guys. So uh, just please forgive me if I react to a lot of the stuff that didn't happen after the after the Happy Chaos release. Okay, tries to hold it. Goes into concentration, but no, does not block off of there. I'm unsure if there's a little bit recovery after you hit that that move, or if he just wasn't blocking in that setting, or tried to go for like some reversal, I don't know. I don't think Happy Chaos has any reversals that would get him on top of them, but uh, the neutral control just wasn't enough to keep Leo off of him for a second. But they're gonna reset slowly, hopefully thinking of what's happening. J-Rock shaking his head saying, ah, I didn't like that round. Goes into the May. He said, I don't need a blicky, bro, I got an anchor. <laughs> who, needs a, who needs to pop up a Bugatti out of nowhere when I got a dolphin, bro? That's how I get around, bro. Instantaneous dolphin summons. Gavin looking confident. As you can see the glare of the Xanadu sign shining at the corner of his eyes. He's ready. All right, going into our second game. All right, how's this control going to be? Ooh, immediately goes for the down jab. That'll be down slash. Ooh, goes with a five heavy slash. That would have been a big counter if that was closer to the corner, but it's not. Oh, goes with a lariat. Yes, and, and Gavin says, I am out of here. Red RC, that is the overhead, goes into the dust. Ooh, goes into the safe jump. Does not punish it, though. Ooh, just giving it for free. I do not like that. Now he's getting hit with the overhead. This is going to be a wall confirmed combo into there. That's positive bonus. Okay, and this is very bad. He already has a little bit of meter. Oh, he wins the DP. Oh, that's unfortunate. And he can't cancel the whip DP into PRC. That's not a move that you could do that from. So good that he didn't get him to block it from that angle. And J-Rock does get the punish. But was kind of looking a little bit awkward. And like I said in the last game, he's not going to have that positive bonus meter advantage that he would have had because you don't get meter in this game from round to round. Goes with the command grab, though. Why are you blocking, G? Toe touch. Pop. Hits the projectile. Oh, that was so nice. Oh, doesn't get the wall confirmed over there, but we got the Shimaze. That's going to be a confirm one more time. Goes for the reset. Wall splat. Super, and that going to be dead. <laughs> nice. Nice. Quick work. J-Rock picking the May, obviously, looking very good in that sense. Got the Totu in the Geki. Going into our game right here, we have the Equalizer. No Denzel Washington. We're going to see who's going to have the advantage. Wow, they just looked into each other's eyes and went for the reversal. Oh, I thought that was a clash over there, but it seems like that reversal won. Goes for the jump after the wake up. Was probably going for a shimmy. Mm, got caught trying to check him. PRC does not pick up the confirm. Doesn't do anything off of the confirm right over there. Huh, right unfortunate. I was expecting something. Oh, yeah, that's a whiff. Yeah, we punished those. Yeah, we punished that. Bad first calls as well. Oh, that was so good. Is this going to be into the corner? 
Wall splat? Yes, it is. And this is going to be dead. Oh, no, it's not. Belay my last James Chen. That is going to be a chip kill if it's not close. If he doesn't get hit, and that's just going to be a 6P anti here. Nice stuff. J Rock looking to Taking three rounds in a row over Gavin. And you can tell, like, this is the character that he's most comfortable with. He has been playing Mei for a minute. I saw him playing in the beginning when this game did come out. Goes with the dust. And that's the safe jump setup that he did have before. Got caught off the counter hit. All right. Now, just trying to back up. If you're Gavin, you're trying to look at a space where, like, you're not losing these situations, but you kind of are letting these reversals rip. You're establishing the fact that you do have defense. Is that game? Oh, no, it's not game. Guts saves lives. Oh, man. Unless you're going berserk. Now, that was a pun intended. Oh, and the reversal went the other way, but it don't kill. Oh, this could be a chip. Yeah. Even though he did block the projectile, that is a chip kill in that sense. He did not push block, so he did not avoid the chip kill for exchange for the meter. So he is going to be dying in that sense, going up one to one. And that's the first round he took from the past two games that they just had together. Can Gavin uh, see the momentum back off of that loss in that set? Or can J-Rock clean this out? Take two straight games. Okay. Goes for the wiggle. Blocks the overhead. So nice. But that is going to be a red RC, and this is going to be a confirm. It ain't going to kill, but he is in a bad sense. Now, luckily, Gavin has a little bit of time until he does get a full bar. But once he does get a full bar, it's going to look very bad. Okay. Go for the buffer. Now he's sitting at a full bar. Okay. Hits the counter hit confirm. Oh, he just grabs him out of the projectile throw. And that's going to be confirming to the super into jump. Nice OTG setting. And Gavin reclaims back that momentum that just happened from there. And I don't know if J-Rock's going to want to immediately go back into... Yeah, he's going to go back immediately into the game. Feeling fairly confident about it. I do agree. Just more than two decisions. Oh, it can't be whipping buttons like that. I don't know what's going on. Oh, but just gets hit a little bit after throwing that beach ball. Okay, it's a little bit of a daze. We're not at Evo yet. It's not summertime. Okay. Red RC. Guess what it is. Yes, I'm going to put out my two frame grab. Charges the dunk. You see how he had the little pushback on there, man? Oh, that guard damage is crazy. Okay. Push blocks out of there. Mm, I don't know if I agree. Goes with the grab again. This is the red RC, and that's going to be a combo confirmed, though. Oh, goes for the oh, goes for the slash into the jump cancel into the slash button, but it doesn't work. Guard cancels the lariat. One more hit. Toe touch. That was such a good read from Gavin. Nice decessor play. I didn't even know where he got that from. He wasn't throwing much Totugakis in neutral like that, especially from that setting. He did knock him down, but that didn't work in that. Okay. Takes him down. Jumps up. Was that a throw bait again? I wonder it was. That was a command grab, though. That was a nice burst off of there. Gets hit off of the projectile recovery. Puts him in. Oh, and that's purple RC. He can purple RC off of that? That's cheap. That's cheap. That's a throw. Okay. Meaty. Oh, purple RC. Oh, you know, he's not going to get the confirm off of that. Bounces off of the wall. That's unfortunate that he wasn't able to get that wall break. That would have been momentum. And that's not a throw over there. Goes into back turn. He went for the guard, though. Why? What was the read? I don't agree. But he still does have one round to take the game off of them. Okay. J-Rock. J-Rock could easily make this into a 2-2. Two two. Oh, but now he's in back turn. Rushes him over twice. He's gonna go for the third time. Stuffs him out of the button though. A bar rate check. Nice jump back. He's gonna run to... Oh, he got hit. I gotta think he didn't want to check it with something, but that's not incentive if you can't read where he's gonna be hitting that from. And that's gonna be a wall combo. And so the damaging ender of that goes back into the windmill kick. Oh, gets hit out of the projectile. Please don't dolphin again. Okay, Blue RC. No, he gets a reversal. Oh, that was such a risky. The, oh, that's so risky. Oh. Into the immediate D sync. He was ready to go. Oh, man. But uh, good stuff to J Rock. Gavin advancing into the bracket. Good stuff from them. Interesting game. Interesting game. We do have another uh, match that is going to be coming up on the stream, but from watching that match, it seemed like J-Rock was just a little bit apprehensive to decide where he wanted to be in neutral. Obviously didn't have the answer to, like, the basic Leo stuff, the cross-up slash um, into the hit combo confirm. He got hit with it, like, three instances, like, in a row in that very last round. Uh, but it was looking kind of good. 